If it's Google, Google don't see inside. They have satellites that can see my shoes right now. I'm Google already. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So if you heard a bit of a list, it's because I got my Invisalign a few days ago. It used to be way worse than this, but I'll do a whole separate video on that. But this is the last time you're going to see my brown hair. And I'm very excited to dye it. Um, hopefully it turns out the way I want it to. I've already sent her pictures of how I want it and stuff. So hopefully it turns out how I want it to turn out. And I hope my curl pattern doesn't change or anything. I'm not going like full on blonde. Like I would never dye my whole entire head blonde. But I'm definitely going to dye the ends. So hopefully it turns out really nice i'm just going to be doing a ton of deconditioning di i can't talk man i'm luckily only going to be keeping these invisalign in for like three and a half months but i'm going to be doing a ton of deep conditioning treatments to keep my hair moisturized and hopefully the color takes really well because my hair is already like lighter i really hope she lets me film myself in there like if anything it'll just blur out her if she doesn't want to be on camera but i really hope that she lets me film myself getting it dyed or else this whole intro to this video will be pointless so this is hill studio very aesthetically pleasing and this is not sponsored at all i found this place from people i know recommending it to me so the first thing she did with my hair was just wash it so you're gonna see her wash and condition my hair and also detangle it and i know i'm not the only person who does this but you know when someone's speaking to you and you didn't hear what they said so you just pretend you heard because you don't want to like ask them to repeat themselves and you're just like oh yeah <laughs> i legit caught myself doing it on camera because i couldn't hear what she was asking me because of the water it was so loud it's so cringy what things do you discuss on your youtube channel yeah <laughs> What's the channel about? Um, mostly hair. I just post like random stuff. The perfect time for a rider. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? What is my source? My igniter. Straight truth won't be a denier. If I feel the heat, where's the fire? In my head. In my head. And I loved that anytime she rinsed out my hair, she rinsed it with cool water. I do that myself at home because I learned it closes your hair follicles. But after that, she just went right ahead and blew out my hair. started to section my hair to prepare for the hair dye so the first color she's putting on right now is a brown color and this color i didn't really know what kind of tone of brown i wanted so she showed me like one of those color like hair color books that have samples of different hair colors and i picked like an ashy brown one So right here, I'm just zooming in on the mirror to show you like a different kind of view of what's going on. But you see what had happened was I forgot to zoom out when I faced the camera towards me. So I just have a bunch of like really way too close for comfort shots and I didn't really realize it was this close. Really wanna work. 
work it out and this is me finally realizing it was zoomed in that's why i look so mad and i fixed it but she's just adding the lighter color now so this is bleach and she did more of like the light ashy color and more towards like the front of my face I And I find this technique so cool, that's why I kind of slowed it down for you guys. And lots of people were asking me on Snapchat, why didn't I just do this myself at home? I can't do this myself. If it was like one solid color, then yeah, sure, but I can't do all of this. And here she's just combing down that brown hair dye and then putting like the blonde near the ends. I'm not a professional, I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. If you got a good man, don't let him go. Honestly, shout outs to this selfie stick because it legit looks like I have someone filming for me, but I really didn't. This final time. Yeah. And now she's just adding more of the color in between the foil. So And this is what it is looking like. I think this stayed on for either 20 or 30 minutes. I do not know. Do not hold me on that. But after that unknown amount of time that it processed, she just took off the foil and then rinsed out my hair. As you can see since my hairline is lighter it kind of looks like it's very sparse so after all of this like when i got home i have to go in with some dark brown beijin hair dye to get that darker hair back and they actually have to use beijin hair dye like once every three months because the sun makes my edges blonde this is your olaplex treatment this is for 10 minutes okay. so after 10 minutes she rinsed out the olaplex and i didn't really get a good angle of this so i'm just showing you this so you can see that she rinsed it out but yeah um i basically saw how my hair looked and <laughs> And I was not prepared for what I saw. Like, this was before it toned. I thought this was the final look. So you can see I look very, like, confused. But right now she's toning my hair. So it turned out a lot better than this. You see, if I did this at home, this would probably be the final result I got. This yellow, brassy, orangish color. Turning up the heat. Biting down my teeth. Trying to keep the peace. I can't live a dream. If I'm still asleep and it's so fucking deep How long you keep me waiting? I'm not complaining I just think the time is running out It's easy to be patient When you're complacent I just think the time is running out
If you saw my recent straight to curly hair routine, you would know that my hair does not like to stay. So of course, when she tried to like put it up, it fell. So I'm pretty sure that toner stayed on for 10 minutes. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I think. But then she just rinsed it out, shampooed, conditioned, detangled. Foundation started breaking. I felt the shaking. Yeah, I guess our time is running. And I think that this is a deep conditioner. If not, then it's probably just a regular conditioner, but I think it's a deep conditioner because it was really thick and moisturizing. And I know dang well that there's plenty of people watching this trying to see if my curl pattern changed or anything, and I can guarantee you, thankfully, praise the heavens that it did not, and you'll see that later in the video. Gotta get over you now. You still the different moods now. So originally when I messaged her, I asked for a wash and go, but then I kind of wanted my hair to be a bit stretched, so I changed it to a twist out. Won't hear another lecture. I'm My hair has always air dried really fast, so with a hooded dryer, it legit dried in like 5 to 10 minutes. So this is the color I got. I never wear my hair out like this, but this is so you guys can just see the color. As you can see, the front is a bit lighter. I'm Billy Rock Hunter Be Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is literally like a week and a day after dyeing my hair. I dyed it last Wednesday and it's Thursday. But this is it. Um, I originally did not want like this much blonde going on. I actually went in there a few days after dyeing it and added some brown just like at the front just because it was way too blonde for me. Here's a picture of how it looked like before. My curls are not damaged. My hair is like wet here so my curls aren't popping yet. That's the one thing I'm super happy about is that my curl pattern did not change at all. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, That's my hair. I originally did not want this much blonde as I said. But I feel like I'm kind of happy that she did it this way because if she did it like with only my ends then the blonde would be gone in like a few months like with trimming and all that stuff so but this like as my roots go out i'll get more of the look i wanted i think my hair will look really nice when i have like the dark roots and this color ends going on as i said the one thing i was scared about was my curl pattern changing and it has not changed which i'm super thankful for i think that's because of the olaplex treatment she did but the only thing that felt different was my hair felt very dry after dyeing it obviously which is a given i felt like that for like three days i literally just did tons of deep conditioning so I deep conditioned literally right after the appointment I don't wear my hair into a stuff like in that video so once I got home I literally went and wet my hair and deep conditioned it and still put the deep conditioner on rinsed it out went to work when I got home from work I did a protein treatment and the day after that I did another deep conditioning treatment and now my hair feels like perfectly fine it feels completely normal i'm just really excited to see how my hair grows out but that's it um i know some of you guys won't like my hair that's completely fine i like it so that's really all that matters sorry if that sounds like shady or anything it did take me a bit to get used to but i like it i think that's it so i'm gonna go i will do an updated curly hair routine because i just want to show you guys what i do thank you so much for watching it's the curly sage oh yeah and the invisalign video will come soon as well it's the curly sage signing out peace Sorry.